Dear students, today we are going to derive the expression for finding out the equivalent resistance of a series combination of resistors. Right. Now for the derivation we have considered a series combination in which there are three resistors R1, R2 and R3. There is a source of potential difference which is a combination of two cells, a battery which is giving a total potential difference of V volt. Right. And when we switch on, there is a current which is measured, a current which flows which is measured by the ammeter, right, ammeter which is here and let the amount of current which is flowing is I, I ampere, right. So there are three resistor R1, R2 and R3 which are, which are connected end to end and there is a single path for flow of electric current that means it is a series combination, right. Let I be the current flowing through the circuit, we also know that there is a single value of current in series combination because this current I will come here and this will flow, this will pass through this R1 and this current will once again will pass through R2 and ultimately it will pass through the I3. So the same amount of current flows through all the resistors in case of series combination because there is no other path for the current to pass through. Right. So, I is the current here which is here. Let I1 be the current which is flowing through the resistor R1 but we know that in series combination I1 is equal to I. Similarly, I2 is the current which is flowing through the resistor R2 but once again it is equivalent to the I. So, similarly I3 is also equal to I because we know that in series combination the same amount of current will flow through each resistor, right. Let V, this is the potential difference given by this battery with the total potential difference provided by the battery. We also know that for series combination this total potential difference is divided in all the resistors which are available such that V that is the total potential drop is equal to the sum of the potential drop between the individual resistor. So V1 is the potential drop when the current passes through R1, V2 is the potential drop when the current passes through V2 and V3 is the potential drop when the current passes through the third resistor and the total potential difference across all the three or across the series of resistors is V which is given by this battery right okay so this is the first equation V equals to V1 plus V2 plus V3 we consider it as first equation now applying Ohm's law to the individual resistor R1, R2 and R3 so when we want to find what is the potential drop across the first resistor so V1 equals to I because there is the same amount of current is flowing so it is the I amount of current we know that so I R1. So this is the potential drop across the first resistor. So V1 equals to I R1 from Ohm's law. Similarly for the second resistor V2 the potential drop across the second resistor equal to I R2 and similarly the potential drop across the first resistor V3 equals to I R3. Also when applying the Ohm's law to the whole circuit. So the total potential drop equals to the amount of current multiplied by the equivalent resistance of the circuit, the total resistance of the series combination. So RS is the equivalent, where RS is the equivalent resistance of series combination, right. So substituting the values of V, V1, V2 and V3 in equation 1. So when we substitute for V, when we substitute the value for V, V equals to I R S, where RS is the equivalent resistance. Now substituting the values, substituting the values of V, V1, V2 and V3 in equation 1. This is the equation 1, we know that the total potential drop is sum of the individual potential drop across each resistor. So we have found out the value of V1, V2 and V3 by applying Ohm's law to the individual resistor and we have also found out the value of total potential drop across the series, right? So, by applying the Ohm's law to the whole circuit. So, V equals to I and RS is the equivalent resistance of the series combination. So, by substituting the values, 
So substituting the value of v, value of v is i r s i r s equals to v one that is i r one plus v two i r two and the value of v three is i r three. So i is common taking i as common so we have cancelled the i so we get R S that is the equivalent resistance of a series combination is equal to R one plus R two plus R three and if there are n number of resistors. Then it is equal to the sum of the resistances of the individual resistor. So the equivalent resistance that is R S, or sometimes we write as E E Q uh, R E Q, right? So the equivalent resistance of a series combination is equal to the sum total of the resistances of all individual resistors in the series combination, right? So if you want to find out the amount of resistance of the single resistor which can replace all the three resistors suppose now this is the single resistor right and it has replaced all the resistors in the series so this single resistor will be equal to will its value the resistance of the single value that means this single resistor will have A resistance which will be equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3, right? So this is the equivalent resistor of this series combination. So this is how we derive the expression for calculating the equivalent resistance for of a series combination. Thank you.